uh, the Witters Vineyard planted back in 2000 um, is a volcanic site. It's at about 3,400 feet elevation, which is, makes it one of the higher vineyards in California. The idea of, of planting Gamay in that site was the uh, thought that uh, at that elevation um, it would be cool enough for Gamay, which ripens very early on, uh, uh, to, to get to maturity without having so much sugar that you'd have a high alcohol level in the wine. Gamay I think at its best makes it at its its best wines um, when it's able to ripen and give you somewhere between maybe 11 and 13 percent alcohol, um, and much of California is just really too warm to expect that to happen with any kind of consistency. Um, so that turned out to be true, and we were able to make you know really fairly light, uh, fresh, pretty wines from there. Um, the odd thing about Gamay in that site when the vines were young was um, it seemed to have almost no tannin at all. The, the aromas were good, the acidity was fabulous, uh, flavors were all really terrific, but the texture was kind of lacking and it was a, a little strange. And then five years later uh, there was a site uh, at which the Barsotti family for years had been raising apples and they decided they wanted to to put in some grapes and um, so we put Gamay there and there the, so the soil is granite, decomposed granite. Um, it's kind of a pinkish, uh, slightly purpley uh, color um, granite soil. Um, and we, we made the first wine from those vines in uh, 2007 and right off the bat the tannin was there that wasn't there at the other side. Mm. Eventually decided that I would use the Gamay from the original site only for rosé because it just made wonderful rosé and, and the red was not anywhere near as compelling. And then the granite site would be the only site for the, for the red wine. 